Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. I was going to go live with this story, but uh, I got a few things to do later on, so I thought I'd make a video instead. It is going to be a little bit long, so you may have to buckle in, but by God is it worth it. So, last night I was going through my spam folder and I came across an email, which I'm going to show you the email first, but I, I've actually uh, put into something else. So this is the email. You know, remove YouTube content from this person, Ashley Moy, which I'm putting a name out there because we know who this person is. So you got that there. But what I've done, I've actually gone and put it into a into like my own little uh, area because this person claims they are an FBI agent. Now, this happened and, you know, well, I'll show you the email first. So... As the publisher of one of the following YouTube videos, you are requested to remove the respective below referenced video voluntarily in its entirety or face legal action, as your content has and may continue to have a detrimental impact on my standing in my community. At the time of publication, you should have known that per the rules of Virginia's court, that A, the brief was properly served upon both involved parties of Deb versus Heard, B, since neither party disputed nor responded to the brief within the time frame required by the court, the contents of the brief were accepted by the court as being 100% valid. Your casting of my character in a false light and or claims that any <laughs> of the brief's elements were a falsehood and should be subject to prejudice within your published commentary is uh, actionable. The cost that you will be held responsible for, should legal action be taken, will be all associated attorney's fees, $250 to $450 per hour. That's really funny because my uh, solicitor, lawyer, that's what we call him here in the UK, is actually nearly £900 an hour. So I think I've got better lawyers than you do, darling. The forced removal of the content from YouTube, $1,000 per video. Any other incurred costs and I will seek punitive damages. Okay, interesting. Very, very funny. And then obviously she added on this at the end, which is uh, the dates and the people who put out videos regarding this person. On the 13th of August, you had Debbie Dooms, who is a paralegal, which is very funny. E Hacker on the 20th of August. 20th of August as well, you had uh, Tug. 21st, you had Stevie J. And on the 24th, you had myself. And we made fun of this person because the... Uh, the brief that they put in, you know, they claim that uh, Johnny Depp owes this person $25 million and that she uh, saw Amber doing all this wild stuff and crazy things. And we're going to get into that. But on the email, they also put this. Tug didn't want to put this on the uh, stream last night, but I thought I'd put it out there because it's very, very interesting and very, very funny. 405 Western Avenue, PMB 231 South Portland, ME, and you got that area code, I believe it is. Well, with that, with the area code, it actually brings up this. It's the address for the UPS store. Not the legal team that she says it is. So straight away, I'm like, this person has put down a UPS address. Is this to make it look like it's legit and no one's going to look for her or them? Because we don't know if it's a boy or a girl or if it's a group of people. We have no idea. But I saw this and I started laughing. I was like, oh my God, this person is deranged. And if you put their name into uh, Twitter, which I have, you have so many coming up. We got Princess Consuela here. I am so confused. I can't find any info about this woman other than several lawsuits against Johnny, the Mandels, they were all dismissed, and Keanu Reeves. So Johnny Depp owes her 25 mil. Who the heck is Ashley Ruth Moy? Well, this is her. As you can see, filed June 2nd, uh, sorry, June 29th, 2020 and all this. She comes forward that, uh, you know, as a federal law enforcement officer of the United States of America, and going on saying all this stuff, you know. Interest of Amicus Curie. 
Earning capacity could be negatively impacted should uh, Depp not prevail. He owes me $25 million. And it's just absolutely hysterical. Should Depp not prevail, me or maybe unable to satisfy that debt. $25 million he owes me. Okay. Why does he uh, owe you 25 mil? I wrote a role per Johnny's implied request in a screenplay specifically for and reliant upon Johnny's portraying that role. No screenwriter has ever earned 25 million just for writing a screenplay. They've never done it. It's absolutely ludicrous. And when you see this, it's absolutely hysterical that this person thinks that they can send us emails like this, threatening us, remember? Now, these this person has threatened us with legal action. Well, I decided to go to my solicitors this morning, and I showed them this, and, you know, even though I told them that this person is a complete random person, is rando, as uh, AH likes to call them, and my uh, solicitors, they're going to send an email to um, the FBI in America, because they do have New York offices, my uh, my solicitors firm do, and they're going to ask about this person. So that should be interesting, and we will. We, I will keep you guys updated on this, because obviously, if the FBI now, you know, I am an FBI agent, is suing us, surely they know not to put stupid crap in emails like that. You know, because they even put a disclaimer in it as well, which is actually really, really funny, which Tug actually went over on uh, stream last night. And I'm going to put it here now as well, and I'm going to read it to you because they put down the confidentiality notice. Yeah. If you, you know, it's like, no, it's not, you know, <laughs> it's so dumb that this person thinks they can go on. Uh, they can just look for videos which have made fun of them literally now from two years ago remember now this is a public document it's public anyone can talk about it anyone can put it out online and discuss it and add their commentary to which all of us have and with this person this really you know this uh ashley moye or whatever their name is coming out and saying if you don't take this down i'm gonna sue you by all means go ahead feel free like I said, you said $250 to $450 is attorney uh, privilege. Like I said, mine solicitors is £900 an hour. That's pound now as well. So if we just do uh, pound to dollars conversion. Oh, which I will show you on screen. So first of all, they said... 450 so 365 british pounds an hour is how much her lawyers are well like i said mine's 900 so that's 1100 dollars an hour i think my lawyers are but solicitors are better well they are actually yeah, i can tell that 100 just because by the price that she is saying or they again we have no idea who this person is but seeing this i'm just like you really haven't got a clue and again you know They've had two years to come and uh, say anything about this, but they haven't because they know for a fact we're just going to laugh at them again like we are. And we laughed about them before. We're laughing about them now. And again, if you want to go ahead and sue me, go ahead. I will, like I say, Tug said this as well. We will literally live stream every single bit of it. We will, because this is just absolutely hilarious. But again, like I said as well, you know, I am waiting now on my uh, solicitor to get back with uh, any information that even if the FBI come back and say no one works here by that name or whatever, I think that would be absolutely hilarious. What do you think? But yeah, it's just this person, you know, a complete and utter rando. And when you go through uh, Twitter, like I was saying, you know, we got this here, cough, cough, Ashley Moy. Who the hell is Ashley Ruth Moy? What in the Carol Baskin, Ashley Moy fan fiction hell did I wake up to? It's absolutely hysterical because, and again, there is someone on Twitter, Ashley Moy, but they've uh, they've been suspended, so it could be this account. We're not too sure. You got, you know, nothing helps. Uh, <laughs> the last thing to do is pull the Ashley Ruth Moy card. Again, this is the one we had. FBI agent called her Amber Heard fake revised her thoughts on court documents of Ashley, which is interesting. Yeah, you know, we've all done these. It's absolutely hysterical to see that this person has come out and saying all this. 
You got M there. Hey, remember that lady who submitted fan fiction in Virginia? Whatever happened to her? Her name is Ashley Moy. Well, she disappeared for like two years and now she's come back. And you got Bixie. I've not seen anyone mention this. No was it even mentioned further in court documents. And again, with everything, I have actually sent this to one of my friends on Twitter who is a lawyer. And I'll just read what they've said. I'm not going to uh, show you the person. But, uh, right. So, obviously, I sent it to my friend. Told him who it was. And uh, they've come back with, uh, the court didn't accept any of her findings as it was not introduced, admitted to, or even referenced in the trial. Means that as far as the court was concerned, her brief was irrelevant. The court accepted the filing of the documents, but not the content that was within it. Furthermore, it is jury that is the finder of facts, and none of her information was given to the jury to make that determination. Of an even bigger note is neither party called her as a witness. Was that because the attorneys on record didn't believe her statements? Why did Johnny call the cops as witnesses, but not this FBI agent? Exactly. And with that there, it is absolutely hysterical. Well, if you're the FBI, I'd rather have you as a witness than police officers. Yeah. Ashley Moy, you're nothing but a crazy, crazy, crazy gone girl person. But we do think that we kind of know who this person is. And we're not going to give the name out, not yet, anyway, in case anything else happens. And obviously, with them impersonating an FBI agent, that's even funnier to me because... Again, whenever I think of FBI agents and all this kind of stuff, I just think I am an FBI agent from Keanu Reeves in Point Break because that is one of the funniest things going. But again, you know, we go back to a Twitter, you know, October, you know, we got that one there. We got the other ones, you know, which is very true. You know, she filed a contract, other contract, a lawsuit against Johnny in LA. Yeah, 2012. There's so many of these things. There was one of them. I believe she filed that Johnny owed her a couple of uh, millions, so, you know, a couple of those kind of briefs. There was one, I believe, that she said that they were married for like 30 years. And that's when you know this person is a bit cuckoo. When they're going around saying, oh, we've been together for 30 years. What? That's why, you know, we, we have seen a few people in this uh, community who have gone on record and they're like, oh, no, I know who this person is. But we got this by here as well. I'm not sure who Ashley Ruth Moy is, but on top of perjury penalties, there's this. Whoever falsely assumes or pretends to be an officer or employee acting under the authority of the United States of any department, agency, or officer thereof, and acts as such, or in such pretend character, demands or obtains any money, paper, document, or thing of value, shall be fined under this title or imprisoned, not more than three years or both. Now, with this here... This is brilliant because with them claiming to be an FBI agent in those documents and then sending us this threat, this is what happens. This is why this person, in my mind, is an absolute nut bar. And this is just perfect, you know? But you got to see, as you can see, there's just so many other ones. And it's just like, yeah. You know, uh, did anyone even like figure out who Ashley Ruth Moy was that filed the amicus brief and supported Johnny Depp and called Amber a sociopath and said she was an undercover federal agent or because she kind of scared me? Uh, yeah, Violet, this is what's going on. You know, this person thinks that they can intimidate people, but they can't. We're just going to keep on laughing because, well, when you get things like this, and it's even funny that it went into, into my spam uh, mail as well, which is absolutely fucking hilarious. It's just like, yeah, go on. Keep going. If you think you can get away with it, by all means, try and sue us. But remember, they've said that they're going to try and sue all of us. And with that there, you know, there's Debbie, there's eHacker, Tug, Stevie, and myself. Go for it, I say. Do you really think you're capable of suing all of us? Do you think you're even going to win about all of this? And to be honest with you, if I wanted to, I could counter sue you and say this is causing me stress and anxiety because we're just doing a commentary, which again, public record, it's there. Anyone can download it. Anyone can read it. And you're threatening us to say, you know, oh, stop making fun of me. I am an FBI agent. Yeah, you're not. 
You're nothing but a nut bar who is trying their luck to basically be like, ooh, that's over, now I can do this. Sorry, not going to work. But that's what we got, guys. You know, I thought, you know, I thought it'd be absolutely hilarious just to let you guys know. And obviously, Tug did his live stream last night, and... Oh, this is so, so funny. But again, like I said, Ashley Moy, or Moye, whatever your name is, come get some. Come do it. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon.